Okay, so today we're going to go over a combination that I've been using a lot lately. I've had some success with this, even against people that are much better than I am. And I'm going to be talking kind of fast because there is a lot that I want to cover today. And there are, I think, four or five steps to this sequence we're going to cover. And there are ways that each step could be done by itself. But I'm going to show how they kind of blend together. And then you're free to take any part and plug it in in different situations where it it could be effective. We're going to start with a mount escape called the fish hook escape. So she has me mounted, and yep, perfect. As with, as as you probably know, we want to keep the arms in close. We want to use the elbows to prevent her from bringing the knees up. Okay. Once she gets the knees high into the armpits, it's very hard for me to escape because her weight is. She's very high on me, and I, my arms are not very useful to me at this point. They're kind of flared out like this, and they're very vulnerable to different attacks. Okay, so first step is to keep the elbows in like this. Now, her hands are on the floor, that's great. If her hands were not on the floor, if she was trying to punch me, I would reach up and pull her down so she cannot punch me and to put the weight back on the hands. Now, to do the fish hook escape, some people like to get way up on their side. I try not to get up on my side too much because she could switch, it kind of changes the move up, she could get the modified mount, different attacks from there. So what I do is this, this is how I like to do it. I get up on my side a little bit. I kick one leg straight and push this out like this, okay? So we're here. Could you actually start the grapevines in, please? If she has the grapevines in, I'll kick one off, I'll, I'll straighten out one leg to get that grapevine off, I'll push this down and then do this, okay? If there are no grapevines, skip that step. Bring this leg up, I'll bring this towards the camera. I'm gonna step over and hook it like this. This is why it's called the fish hook escape. Again, elbow is bracing the knee to prevent her from bringing the knee up. I will also use the elbow to push that leg. From here, I'm gonna take this leg over and put it behind my knee, securing what is known as the lockdown. Okay? So, when we were here, again, if, you know, if, if they're punching or something like that or have the hooks in, you do those other things. Right now, she's just doing the regular mount, so I'll, I'll be here. I brace the knee with the elbow. You can also use the hand, I like the elbow for two reasons. One, I like the hand close to the face so I can protect possible attacks to the head. And two, I feel like if I'm here, it sets up the possible submission. She can grab the wrist. So elbow in, push with the knee. Now, you'll notice it already came over, so I might not really need the fish hook, but I like to do it anyway to help get the lock down, okay? 